Hello everyone, my name is Michael from Polygon Island, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make any Minecraft block in Blender. Um, so this will work with any Minecraft block, really. Uh, I'm going to be doing a diamond ore today, because it's just kind of an interesting thing to do. So, uh, let's get right into this. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our textures. So, uh, what we can do is we can go to this website right here, and basically you'll be at this and you're just going to assets and then minecraft and then down to textures and then block and now you have all of your blocks so I'm gonna go down all the way until um, I have the diamond ore which is should be coming up uh, diamond ore um, then once you have this, you can just save your image. I already have this one downloaded, so I don't really need to do that, but just save it uh, somewhere in your computer. Um, if you have a block that has multiple different textures, like a grass block, you have to download those textures separately, like the dirt on the sides and the grass on the top. You have to download this separately. The diamond ore is just one texture all around, so you can just download this one texture. So now how to actually make the block. We're not going to delete our default cube for once in our life. What we're actually going to do is we're going to hit tab to go into edit mode. We're going to click A to select the cube if it's not already selected. We're going to hit U on our keyboard, and this will bring up the UV mapping window, and then we just click cube projection. And then once we have that, that's basically that setup already done. Um, so all we have to do now is go into shading, this little tab up here, and then we should have a material already selected. If you don't, then you can just click new right here. And then what I'm going to do is, uh, first what you need to do is you can go up here to edit at the top left, and then go into preferences, and then add-ons. And just make sure you have Node Wrangler on. This makes texturing in general a whole lot easier. Just make sure Node Wrangler is on. Once Node Wrangler is on, select the principled shader, hit Control T, and this will bring up this texture setup right here. Just click Open and go to wherever you downloaded your diamond ore texture. And then you can see that since we use the cube projection, it already maps our diamond ore to all sides. But what you'll notice is it looks like we are watching a 144p YouTube video right now. And we don't really want that. So to fix this blurriness on the texture is we just go down here um, on the uh, texture, the image texture node. And where it says linear, just change it to closest. And then that'll clear up any blurriness that we have right here. And technically, you could be done with it right here. You have your Minecraft block textured and stuff. Um, but what you can do is you can change the roughness to a higher value if you want. Um, and then change some of these like settings over here. Um, but I think that's a good roughness for that. It's just 0.9 or close to just high roughness. So once we have that... Um, we can go into render view on EV just so we can see it. Um, it will be. I'm gonna render this in cycles. You can render it in EV if you want, but I'm gonna render it in cycles for the final one. But I'm just viewing it in EV uh, just so it's easier to see. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna hit Tab to go back into edit mode, and we're gonna right click and go up to the very top where it says subdivide, and then down here at the bottom left there'll be a little subdivide menu, and just change the number of cuts to 15. So with 15, I found that it pretty much lines up with every pixel on the block. So uh, that's that's pretty cool. Um, and so what you can do is you can hit A to select every face, and then go up here to select, and then select random. Um, once you hit select random, go down here, and then the action, change it to deselect, and then you can change the percentage down to whatever you want. And now once you have a uh, once you have a pretty decently selected thing. Uh, what we can do is, what I would do is I would deselect any of the actual, like, diamond faces. Um, because we're going to do something with that later. But you don't have to if you want if you don't want to. Um, it's just, like, something I'm going to do. Uh, so, I would just deselect all the diamond faces. And I'll be back once that's done. Okay, so once we pretty much have all the actual diamond parts unselected, what we can do is we can press Alt-E and then extrude individual faces. And then we can just extrude these out. Um, and then Alt-E, extrude individual faces. We can just extrude these out a little bit to where our diamond block has actual like definition and stuff. So um, now that we've done that, what we can do is the fun parts um, we can go in and reselect 
every time and um so that's fun um so i'll be back once i do that okay so once we have pretty much reselected all of um our diamond material what we're going to do is we're actually going to give this a new material um and then click new and then click this little arrow to put it up top and then click assign this will assign the material to those faces you can see they're no longer those diamonds anymore um, we do have a little bit of stuff right here that's just because of where I didn't select deselect the faces enough and like I extruded those by accident but what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna give it an emission shader instead of a principal BSDF and then we're going to make the color a blue and then we're gonna make the strength maybe five so once we have that we can see that we now have this glowing um, thing instead of uh, the normal diamond texture which is what I was kind of going for on this so now if we go into cycles and then we change it to GPU we can see that we now have this glowing effect right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly set up a little scene uh, nothing too big just change that to black and I'm gonna add a plane under it and then scale that up scale that up like here and then maybe put the camera right here scale the plane up uh, and I'm gonna give the plane just a dark gray with a high roughness and now we have this so um, this already looks pretty cool um, but what we're gonna do is we are going to add a cube I'm gonna give it a new material disconnect the surface value under surface under volume I'm gonna give it a principled volume change the density to 0 0.04 and now if we look at it we see it has that volumetric effect right there um, and you can see out here in the distance this is clipping so the way to fix that is just click camera and then clip end just change that to like a thousand and so now we have that we can also uh, make the focal length a little less so now we have that also what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to give a point light just up here somewhere with a similar glow and then change the power to maybe 50 just to give it a little more just to give it a little bit more definition so now we have this block right here um, so that looks pretty cool. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This works for pretty much any block. Um, obviously, if you're not using an ore or like a diamond ore or something, then you don't have to do all the steps with the diamonds and stuff. But yeah, that's that's how you do that. Uh, thanks guys so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something. Um, and my name is Michael from Foggy Island. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.